for more on tonight's starters, let's visit with Orioles radio voice Joe Angel and Mass analyst Mike Bordick. Well, Bordy, I guess over on Mass, and they're at the bottom of the barrel for the pregame show. So here we are. Let's talk about the Blue Jays and the Orioles here tonight. To me, Marcus Stroman is a guy who, and his personal record, is five games over 500. His team is 12 games under 500. He's a pretty good pitcher. He's a real good pitcher. Yeah, one of the best righties in the game right now in search of his uh, 12th win, which would be a career high, surprisingly. But one of the star pitchers in the game, he's uh, short in stature, but he's got some big-time stuff. He's a sinker baller, uh, 92 to 94. Um, even though he's not very tall, he, he still does a good job creating a good angle, getting some sink on the baseball. So about 60% ground ball rate with a power right. slider. So you're saying that to be a good pitcher, you have to be tall? Is that what you're saying? Well, no, not necessarily, but it helps right. to create that okay. downhill right. angle. That's I understand, yeah. Interesting. Stroman, if he doesn't strike you out, he gets you to hit into a double play. He's got the most double play balls of any pitcher in the major leagues. So. Yeah, he, he's smart, and he knows how to pitch to contact. I think his goal is to get that ground ball early in and at bat. And if there are base runners on, he's going to be coming with that sinker to try to induce that ground ball. Like I said, the high ground ball rate, yeah. and he's going to try to get a lot of ground balls against this Oriole offense. Okay, that's the Blue Jay pitching. Now, the Oriole pitching, Wade Miley, I've always said he's like Indiana Jones. He pitches, there's always lots of adventure, lots of danger, lots of base runners. You know, you're on the edge of your seat all the time. But just like Indiana Jones, he survives. He somehow gets it done, Bordy. Yeah, and, he, and he's pitching like he did back in April, too. And uh, not necessarily with smoke and mirrors. He, he's doing it because he's more consistent around the plate with with all of his offerings. He's still uh, getting the pitch count up there a little bit too high. But he's uh, keeping, staying competitive. He's giving his team a chance to win. And he's probably pitching about as well as he has all season long. Coming off a great month of uh, August. And... He himself says uh, the reason why he's having more consistent consistency, he's just around the plate more with everything. And that's a key uh, for Wade Miley. More strikes, the better he's going to be. Funny how that works. More strikes, you get more outs. <laughs> yeah. That's funny about the Orioles. Uh, they won eight out of nine. Now, before that streak started, there were five teams between them and the second wildcard team. Going into tonight's game, after winning eight out of nine, there are no teams between them and the second wildcard team. It's a pennant race. It sure is. You know, a lot of things happening in the Orioles' favor right now. Obviously, the offense uh, really picking up the pace, but the pitching has been consistent, and that's the key. And if the pitching had been there all year, no telling where the Orioles would have been. But right now, they've played themselves into a position to potentially make the postseason, so it's going to be an exciting final month. All right, Bordy, thank you. Hey, let's go back to Tom Davis and the greatest catcher who ever lived.